in this session i would like to tell you about uh, what are variables variables can store some data values and that variable can a uh, re-render into a reusable object here in this uh, javascript this is one of the best feature can able to save and store some value here in this variable let's have a look so here what i am doing is i am taking new document and assigning some name as variable class dot html in this document i don't want to entertain external javascript file but i would like to assign some internal javascript here in this html file only for that what i will do is i will take one html starter template here you can see this is our starter template and i would like to define some script html file tag in between this script we can assign some javascript so now we are discussing about variable and variable in the sense if we want to define variable we have to take var and we have to assign some name like my name is equal to here in this my name i used camel case so this is called as a camel case if i want to assign some string a string in the sense any name if you want to assign any name if you want to save any name in this variable my name variable you have to define if it is a text you have to define double quotes in between the double quotes only you have to assign my name is javascript some text if it is zero in the sense if it is a number we couldn't define double quotes so what i will do is semicolon so whatever variable and whatever value i want to assign to that variable has been assigned that command has been closed that method has been closed so that i use the semicolon yes yes also you can use this semicolon to close that uh, syntax so i want to print this my variable so it is a name in the sense name is having string so what i will do is i will take uh, document dot write if you want to print any kind of document here in this javascript you have to use document dot write method so here i am defining my name only so here also i will use semicolon save this one here you can see here in this curly closed brackets i couldn't define any kind of double quotes but i used only variable name so let's have a look how it seems to be so i will open this preview in our live server here we can see my name is javascript if i used any kind of double quotes here in this uh, document dot write then now how it seems to be let's have a look here what i will do is i will define double quotes by hitting shift double quotes so i inserted my name variable in between double quotes then save this one now here in this preview you can see it seems to be it exposes my name only what does it mean means this document dot write consider this value as a string in the sense that it is a name only variable name it will define and it will re renders this uh, name only so it, it couldn't expose whatever document that narrow variable has been saved it couldn't render that value so that we couldn't assign double quotes here in this document dot write output so what i will do is i will remove that one and i will define my name is equal to save now you can see whatever value has been saved here in this variable so it will render here in our browser so i want to re-render that object also so that what i will do is i will use that variable couple of times in the sense what i will do is document dot write there i will mention variable name like my name so semicolon save this one now we can see this is javascript as well as this is javascript my name is equal to javascript so what happening is whenever i would like to assign some property 
in between this variable it can able to render a couple of times so there is no restriction so javascript and react.js always following this re-render concept to execute better output so if i want to use any kind of number and i want to assign some number to variable there in that number i want to assign some value then how we have to write so my number what i will do is i will use my number equal to here we couldn't define any kind of double quoted so i will assign some something else number like this so this is a number it seems to be like this what i will do is i will render this value here in this my and you m num save this one now we can see this is our number as well as this is our name it seems to be like this so this is our number here you can see i couldn't uh, here in this number i couldn't assign any kind of double quoted so this is a number we couldn't uh, assign any kind of double quoted if i use the double quoted for this number i will hit uh, shift uh, double quoted now we can see then it will render my number like this so it seems to be like this so we couldn't entertain uh, any kind of double quoted in between these uh, open close curly braces but i will use my and um number save this one now here we can render that uh, string value and we can render that uh, number value whatever i took those values whatever values i assigned to this variable so this is the variable can store some information and able to run the I am able to re-render these values in couple of times with the help of uh, this variable. So variable plays a very crucial role here in this uh, JavaScript uh, as well as JavaScript frameworks like uh, Angular, React.js, etc., etc. So in upcoming class, you will learn about data types also. There also it had different kinds of data storage objects and methods are there there you will i will explain about uh, what are arrays object uh, everything we can define that values we can store those values here in this variable so that uh, there are around seven kinds of data types are there in next session you will learn about all those topics